Today we're going to look at page 13 in the Grab and Go, looking at setting and events, which is a literature skill, looking at where a story is and what are the events that happen within a story. So our secure skills, we have three secure skills and one developing skill as fifth graders. So we need to be able to make visual visualizations of the setting in order to describe it. We're developing, describing how the plot unfolds. Another secure skill is compare and contrast two or more settings and events in the same story or poem. And then we also need to be able to compare and contrast two or more settings or events in two different stories or poems. Our vocabulary is resolution, the way that the author closes a story, and plot, the order of events, including the problem that the character faces and how the problem is solved. So something that you may have used before is a story map where you have your characters, your setting, the events, and the solution. So story stories follow a plot. Story maps are good for looking at each part of the story, and the story, but the story has a whole flow. Writers start with an introduction of the characters and setting of the story. After the story has been set, a problem of the story is introduced. The solution to the problem is not solved right away. That would be boring. Instead, there's many smaller events that add tension throughout the rising action. Then the highest point of excitement in the story happens at the climax. The problem of the story is solved and the writer ties up loose strings in the falling action and the story ends with its resolution that helps the reader feel like the story is complete. So what we're going to do here, here's a story arc, and I want you to map out how a story, how the plot works in a story. So the first thing that this, the author does is they introduce the characters in the setting. So this is the beginning of our story. Then after we find out the characters in the setting, then we find out the main problem in the story. So this is then a significant marking point. Here, we're just getting to know everyone. After the problem, then the tension rises in the story. In the rising action. And there will be multiple events. Multiple things will happen to give more tension, rise and fall. It looks like things might be solved and then they're not. Which brings us all the way up to the climax of the story. Most excitement. But then the, if the author left it here, that's what we would call a cliffhanger. If it just stops right there, and then you don't know how everything ends. What most authors will do is give you some falling action and start to, okay, now that the problem is solved, how does everything wrap up? And then in the end, the resolution when everything comes together in the end of the story. And you can feel like I can walk away from this. I know what happened to the characters that I cared about in the story.